Hello dear students, uh, in this video I will explain you about uh, one of the important concepts of income tax that is deductions under section ATC. Before I explain what is ATC, it is important for all of us to know uh, what are the deductions under section 80 or what is deductions under section 80. You know, uh, assessees earn the income from five different sources, uh, income from salary, income from house property. Uh, income from business or profession, capital gains and other sources. So anybody can earn income from these five different sources as classified by the income tax department. So once they earn, once they earn the income from these five different sources, uh, they are subjected to present the details of these incomes before income tax department for tax purpose. What happens is that when the income from all these five sources are presented before income tax department, the income looks very big. and once the income tax department makes it mandatory for all the assessees to pay the tax on that income, uh, generally the assessees may not be willing to pay the tax for that income which is appearing as a very big amount because it is hard earned money of those assessees and they may not be willing to uh, share the information before income tax department or pay the taxes. They try to avoid the payment of taxes. They try to find out uh, illegal means or not acceptable ways of avoiding the payment of taxes. So that is why income tax department has come up with an idea of tempting the assessees, luring the assessees to pay the taxes by offering certain advantages or certain deductions, certain plans. When assessees are given with these type of offers or discounts or some arrangements which is going to help them in reducing their tax burden, taxable income or tax liability then definitely assessees are motivated are encouraged to come forward and disclose their incomes. So it is a win-win situation for both assessees and the income tax department. Some advantages for assessees and a guaranteed return of taxes for income tax department also. And that's why what happens here is that income tax department has offered various deductions uh, starting from section ATC to ATU. It will include ATC, CCC, CCD, ATD, DD, ATG, ATTTA, ATU like this. So various sections are there under which you can claim the deductions for the investments you have made or the amount you have spent from the income you have earned. So on the one side you earn the income and on the other side you spend the money. So for some spendings, for some investments, if you are allowed to deduct those spendings or those investments then definitely your income will come down, your tax liability will come down then automatically you will be motivated to disclose the income before income tax department and pay the taxes honestly. So this is an arrangement between the SEC and the income tax department. So what happens here is that it is all about trimming down the tax liability of the SEC, reducing the tax burden of the SEC. And for that purpose an SEC is supposed to make use of various deductions available from section 80C to 80U. And it may vary from one SAC to another SAC depending upon the kind of income he is earning and the kind of deductions he is claiming. So more deductions if you have claimed you will be having more deductions and more redu reduction in the tax liability or tax burden. If you have less income and lesser deductions or lesser means of your investments then definitely your tax burden may not come down that much. So this this, this problem is there, it's problem as well as advantage depending upon the kind of income you are earning and the kind of investments you are making. And the deductions what I said starting from ATC to ATU may be in the form of the LIC premium you have paid, the tuition fees you have paid for your children's, uh, the donations you have made, the charities you have done in a period of 12 months in the last year and the amount of money you have invested in various uh, uh, provident funds, retirement schemes of the government and various other opportunities or options where you can invest your money, where you can spend your income. At the same time you will have the benefits from those, me uh, those means of investments as well as tax, tax deductions also. So this is a complete package. Under section 80 you are allowed to claim certain deductions which is going to reduce your tax burden and thereby the income tax department motivates you to come forward and disclose your income, claim certain deductions and pay some tax towards the, uh, uh, the well-being of the country and for the growth of the nation as well. So in this series starting from ATC to ATU various deductions are there. In the coming videos I will be explaining one by one. So today I will take up deductions under section ATC. So 
let's go to directions under section ATC one by one. So ATC is for uh, common man actually. A, in a, a person being in a, a middle income group will have to uh, uh, spend his income for different means and such means are uh, simple means. Uh, they are available to almost all the people of the society. So what, what are those means or options to which you can invest your money or you can spend your income. So one such option is life insurance policies. So when you take life insurance policies for yourself or, or for your family members then definitely you pay the premium. That premium whatever you pay every month or once in a quarter uh, once in three months or once in six months or once in a year such premiums you pay is eligible for deduction from the total income you have earned you can you can you can deduct uh, the premiums you have paid for lic subject to a condition actual amount of premium you have paid or 10 percent of the sum assured whichever is less it should not be more than 10 percent of the sum assured so either of these two whichever is less you can claim as a deduction that is one thing about life insurance premium and the second one is contribution to pf provident fund so I already have explained about various provident funds in my previous videos so in the case of statutory provident fund recognized provident fund approved superannuation fund and public provident fund whatever the contribution an employee makes all such contributions are eligible for deduction under section atc the same is available here as an employee whatever you contribute you can claim it as a deduction under, under this section and next one is contribution to ulips that is unit linked insurance plans or policies endowment policies are there unit linked policies are there when you invest your money in the unit linked insurance policies market linked insurance policies just like endowment policies these policies or the premium you pay on these policies also eligible for deduction under this section and any sum paid for nsc 8 series national savings certificate schemes are there investment opportunities are there if you have invested your money in these schemes then definitely you can claim the deduction for this nsc 8 series also and deposits under national savings scheme just like nsc NSS that is national savings scheme is also available for SSEs they can take the benefit of this one also then investment in mutual funds so majority of the people like to invest their money in the mutual funds so mutual fund is a wonderful opportunity wonderful option for investing your money so whatever you have invested in the units of mutual funds are also eligible for deduction under this section then subscription to notified bonds of NABARD national bank for agriculture and rural development is there so that will issue the bonds whatever the bonds they have issued if you subscribe for those bonds the money you have paid for those bonds is also eligible for deduction under this section and last one for this video is deposits in senior citizen, citizen savings scheme any person who is above the age of 60 may invest in the senior citizen savings scheme of the government so the money what he invests for these schemes is a wonderful option for claiming the deduction so you can claim the deduction for such investments you have made so these are the some of the points uh, I have tried to cover in the first video here about ATC. In the next video, I will cover the remaining, re remaining points of deductions available under section ATC. Thank you.